Hey, it's Mr. Donio again. This time we're going to take a look at naming a means and a mines. So, same thing that you're going to do. You're going to find the longest continuous chain of carbons. Uh, this is going to be your base name. You're going to number the carbon so that if there's a substituent or a functional group, it's given the lowest possible number. You're then going to name and give the location of each substituent group. And if you got multiple substituent groups that are the same kind, you're going to use di, tri, tetra, etc. to say how many you got. So, if we got two chlorines, it would be dichloro. If I got four, it would be tetrachloro. If you got different kinds, then you got to list them alphabetically. So, let's take a look at some amines. Uh, basically, you're just doing the same thing, base and suffix, and this time the suffix is amine, right? So it's actually like the whole word. Uh, so you need a number to specify where the amine group is if it's ambiguous. If you can be in more than one place, then you need to say where it is. So let's check it out. Well, here I got one carbon, so that's going to tell me that it's meth, single bonded, and, and then I got my amine group, so it'll be amine. So this is methanamine. And the question is, do I need a number? No, because there's only one carbon. It can only be in one place, so I don't need a number. This is just methanamine. Okay, let's take a look at another one. All right, well, I got two carbons in this one, so I say F, single bonded and, and it's an amine, right? I found my amine, so ethanamine. Do I need a number? No, because if it wasn't on this carbon, it would be on that carbon, and it's really just the same thing, just turned around, right? You're looking at it from the other side. Hey, the mean group's on the carbon on the right. Right, if you're on the other side of the molecule, it's the carbon on the left, and it's still the same place. Okay, what about this one? Well, I got one, two, three, four, five, six carbons, so hex, single bond, and an amine group, hexanamine. Now, do I need a number? Yeah, because there's six carbons. It could be on any one of these, and it would be different, so i got to number it. So I'm going to number it left or right, because it's going to give me the lowest number, so this will be two hexanamine. So what if I had to draw three hexanamines? So again, you're going to draw how many carbons? Six single bonded and amine group on the third carbon. So one, two, three, four, five, six carbons. And on the third one, there's an amine group. So one, two, three, and H2. There you go. That's how you draw that. All right, amides. Same kind of pattern, base, and then the suffix. This time the suffix is amide. So let's take a look. One, two, three, oh, here, there's my amide group. I got the double bond O and the NH2, so I know it's an amide. How do I name it? Well, I got one, two, three, four uh, carbons, so it's going to be but and amide. And the only place that you can have an amide, the double bond O with a you know, amine group on it, is on the end, so you don't need a number. What about this one? I got one, two, three, four. Or I got one, two, three carbons. So I got this as my chain. So it's four carbons long. So I got but, single bond, and, and amide group is right there. Right, I found the amide group. But I also got this dingly dangly, which is really a methyl group. So how am I going to number this? Well, the amide is going to be on the first carbon. The methyl group is going to be on the second carbon. So it would be 2-methyl-butanamide. All right, what about something like this, CH3CONH2, right? This is telling me that I got my amide group because it's CONH2. So if I got two carbons, that's going to be F, single bonded, and an amide group, amide. And I don't need the number four, it's ethanamide. What if I had pentanamide? So pent tells me I got five carbons, single bonded, amide group. So one, two, three, four, five, double bond O, and off of that carbon, an NH2. And I'm, there you go. That's a pentanamide. So that's a means and a mind. So I hope you found it helpful on seeing class.